For 16 years, Dr Cyril Latt has watched over the community of St Mary's, but it comes with a toll. So I'm a doctor, I cover for the emergency department 24-7 and 365 days a year. He has 1,800 active patients on the books. He runs a private clinic in St Mary's, as well as servicing the local hospital. It means he has to live away from his family. I only see them as a, as a school holidays. Three times a year. Yeah, yeah, roughly three times a year. He says he was pressured into signing a contract extension earlier this year that didn't address his workload concerns. He's now decided to leave. So I, I feel really is uh, angry if with the whole situation. Walking down the main street of the East Coast town, locals are fearful. Frank Giles says he owes his life to Dr Latt after a farming accident. I'd be history. Simple as that. But if she didn't receive those shot of antibiotics in the first 15, 20 minutes, she was blue. Well, she wouldn't have survived the trip to St Helens. The impact here is going to be absolutely huge. If GP services are lost here in St Mary's, people will have to drive half an hour to St Helens or 40 minutes down to Bichino. And if it's a serious medical emergency, they'll have to get to the Launceston General Hospital, which is over an hour and a half away. We are with you, standing by you, and we'll uh, ensure that continuity of service. Half of me is a bit relieved. Half of me is really sad. Dr Latt finishes in November, a limited time frame to find a solution. Clancy Barlin, ABC News, St Mary's.